Keep that voice out. Got some notes. The notes. Hey, um, Yo, your pieces of paper be killing me. All the time. Wow. A lot, a lot of shit. <laughs> There's two pages. Michelle, who looked like you with the purple lipstick back in high school. She was bow legged. She had blonde hair. But you ain't got blonde hair no more. Pink breast cancer more. Did that okay. Michelle, did she um get chased by all the jocks? She no. She's from London. She had a brother named Paul. He went on to um commit some crimes and he was on a run and he went back to London. I think he went to jail for a little while. Damn Michelle. Uh, my sorry. type of guy. My type of guy, Paul. Michelle's hey. probably riddled with anxiety Shit. now, trying to look after her brother. But you know what? Shouts to you. In high school, you were the thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's up. Michelle, shout out to Michelle. Yeah, we're here. We're back again. Mine is our guest we had last week. Adam. Damn, AG. They is, giving it up uh, like that? But we're back with Disturbingly up. Random. Um, and episode, no, we're not jealous because you're not here. What's this? Episode 16? Episode Season 2, Episode 6. I don't know. Season six. Uh, six -ish. Episode 16. Same thing. And everything. We got DJ back. How about that? Hey. How about that? Look I took that. a uh, slight hiatus because I was doing some research. Mm -hmm. Tell you about that talk later. About, talk about that research, though. <laughs> Let's talk about that research. Let's see what you call research. What do you call research? Anyway? I went on a date. I'm a little, I'm sweating <laughs> because I'm, I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. I don't know. Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, I don't have insurance. It's so. not one of those. It's not one of those colds. You won't catch this for a while. No, but like if I get sick, I get like, mm, I need like. You get like what? Mm. Like I need help. That like, that's like you born with that sickness. The way that one was. <laughs> so talk I about that research. Hug. Let's talk about that research. Uh, so I went on this date. See, this is the thing. I am a Haitian woman. Very proud. Say your name. Sakwa say Jenan Jean Francois. Um, and my family's always like, oh, why you don't, you know. Go out with a Haitian, a with nice a, ha with a nice Haitian boy. boy. You find a nice Haitian boy because Would you like a nice Haitian because boy? the nice Haitian boy they take you to Chicken Shack. And they took him there. That's where they took you. They took you to Chicken Shack on the second date. Mm, what about that first date? You smash. The first date was great. Smash no, over? I didn't smash. You should have smashed. Maybe the second. No, I took it to the chicken shack. Where did he take it to? Where did he take it to? On the, if he smashed, let me ask you something. Y'all, do you Ball think it's something wrong with smashing on our first date? I don't think there's anything wrong with two consensual adults doing what makes their bodies feel good. And if that happens to be on the first date, Very then that's their prerogative. If that's how the chemistry is that's, going. Very if that's how so you so you smash on the first date. Going no problem. No. So stop talking like you smashed on the first date. And if it comes to it, I don't have an opinion on it. That the chemistry is going. I don't care about your chemistry set. And I think if you, uh. Did you smash on the first date or not? No, nigga. All right. I talk just said it. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. <laughs> I said if it would have, it would, it could go down. It can happen. Though. It can happen. And if you like the guy, you giving it up. Huh? Talk and roll. Chemistry is key. Talk, talk. <laughs> Chemistry. Yo, AG told me to call him. He in Aruba right now. He told me to call you him. You should call him. He's I am Aruba. Call him. All right, we're gonna touch some of these topics. Though. We got a lot of. I got two pages worth. Two. We see. Mad shit. Mad mm -hmm. shit to cover. Top of the list. Tell us what's on. Oh man. Um. Um. No, I'm just. I'm just going. I'm gonna be jumping around on this thing. So I'm just trying to look at my list. I'm not. I'm trying I to see you. I need yeah, antibiotics. Yeah, you seriously you just said that. Yo. Do you well, need antibiotics? Huh? Why, but why are you looking at me like that? Like do you, you saying like you contagious? Yeah. <laughs> do you have antibiotics? Do you carry antibiotics? I'm just on the saying, I can make a call. Yo, you get antibiotics? Wow. Yo, let me tell you a story. Can, Back in the days, you got you always got a story, don't you? You yeah. know what you're gonna be like when you get old. I'm old now. No, when you get old, old, mm -hmm. and you have you got kids and you had grandkids, they're gonna come and visit, and you're gonna have a story. Let me tell you, when I was this, Back when I was in locked my day. up. This happened and this happened, and when I was growing up, you're gonna be one of them ones that's got a story to tell. I am. I know. Because you do it now. 
I can't wait for that. But I remember, like, look, back in the days. That's happening. Hey, back in the days, back, listen, my daughters is old. You know what I'm saying? My daughters, they're going to have kids one day soon. And I'm going to be like, yo, why you do that? Uh, but um, listen, uh, yo, <laughs> I'm like, why you do that? They're going to say, well, you did it. That's how we got here. Yo, listen. So back what you're days, saying is you would you would sell your daughters like it's not worth it to have kids? I'd be like this. Don't be doing that. I don't want to be no grandfather yet. Don't have children. Yeah, not yet. Yo, I, I had to. I had to get some. I had to get. I had to get some. Uh, yo, I had to get some antibiotics, and I went to the projects to my man. Uh-huh. And anything, right? I was in you North don't have Carolina. a drugstore you can go to? In Greensboro, I was in North Carolina, man. Uh-huh. I needed antibiotics bad, so I went there. Needed <laughs> to my man. His name was Fats. <laughs> the dude name was Fats with Fats, antibiotics. like fax machine, like Fats. F-A-T-S. 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 He was fats, fats, plural. Yeah, he did that <laughs> project. So he said, yo, go down to Fats and hit, you know, you know he got the, he got the antibiotics. He got mad. And he, I went there. Fats had what mad antibiotics. Huh? Fats. I don't get Fats probably dead now. Oh. You I don't oh, this was back in the day. Yeah. Uh, what the hell do you think? It was yesterday? No. Totally. Fats is sitting somewhere That's in. Like dead. Somewhere or in prison for like 40 years for Ithaca. killing some damn body. <laughs> no, nobody, nobody knows where Fats at. I think he probably changed his fats. name and everything. Shouts to Fats. Fats. Shout out to Fats. Fats gave me a bag of antibiotics. Alias. And he had mad antibiotics. Like, he had bags and bags. He gave now me you like know about, which one was for what? I didn't care. I just needed them. He gave me like 50 antibiotics. Did he give you the bubblegum serum? No, I popped them. <laughs> I popped like, I popped like, uh, I popped like seven of them joints. Oh. Because I was like, yo, I need to get this out of me quick. Yeah, and then you were dead for two days? And no, I was throwing Wait, up. Wait, yeah. what Crazy. the fuck you mean dead for two days? Like, he took seven antibiotic pills. Yeah. He's like this. Yeah. Yeah, man. And they, that's crazy out there. And they, you know, so, um, a lot of stuff happened after that, but, you know, um, but whatever. Oh, you and your little Kevin Hart stuff that you're scared to talk about. We I'm not scared about to talk Hart. about no fucking Kevin Hart. Ooh, purple got you like that. Okay. Yo. I just choose to comment when I want to comment and say what I want to say. Cause this girl won't stop. That's what it says. Hey, um, hey, um, that's your book. Mm-hmm. You won't stop. Yo, man. So Kevin Hart, we lost a lot. Of, we lost like two weeks because we didn't you know pod two weeks ago, and then last week we didn't either. So we're gonna touch upon some stuff that we missed out on. Fair, fair. Why you ain't touch it last week? What do you mean? When you had your special guest. Because he was just there. That wasn't last week. <laughs> that was two weeks ago. No. That was two weeks ago. Ago. And uh, you know what? Um, I think, like, if you watch that episode, you'll see that uh, I, don't, I don't know if we even had a chance to touch up on much of anything. I think it was more so. I think it was, it was a surprise lot of, guess. I think it was just like a bad chemistry set that day. <laughs> that shit was all because, over. Because no, it was you two. You two. Y'all were all over the place. I think y'all was having there was warring. And I was like the um, counselor in between. I was like, you know, trying to you know, be a therapist. It was like a couple's therapy. That just seemed like a goddamn couple's therapy. He uh, yeah. he on uh, She said on. Uh, <laughs> he he on. on vacation with his Couple with okay. his person. Where his couple? Get Adam. Get Adam. Adam, introduce us. So suppose he, if if, if a dude, let me tell you, if Adam, if, if AG hit us in anything with like a a sex pic of him, and his uh, you gonna make me throw up. Him and his, uh, you gonna make me throw up. Why he's, he's on a, What did you say he's what? Wow. So oh. wait a minute. Like Tell a me, no, don't talk about him like that. Don't do. We ain't doing that. But hold up. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What? So sex Did picks. he just cut us off of that? Well, Christ, you can't do that about people. You can't be. You oh, but you that. sit up here and do this about what you about to, a whole what lot of stuff other? you about that's to do. Not, that's not, that's three weeks on. ago, that's that's exactly. from Lizzo? Yeah. No, wait, I'm going to talk about Lizzo again. I'm going to oh. talk about Lizzo again. Because I we sent y'all a picture. I sent y'all a picture today. Y'all, y'all don't answer nothing when I say in the group chat. Don't oh say y'all. So, um, don't gonna, say y'all. Well, we don't gonna, we're say gonna, we're y'all. Gonna, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. If you if you look at the group chat, um, the, the things I send you in group chat. Okay. We're going to find out. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. So, getting back to this, um, do people send you sex pics? Do you send sex pics out to people? Do people send me dick pics? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that. <laughs> yes, people sent, have sent me dick pics. Oh, How do you shit, respond? I just got How one too. I don't. I just got one the other day. Yeah. Matter of fact, was it Thursday or Friday? Resp- how do you respond? I to didn't. It? So, but did you have you ever responded to one? Yeah. And what did you? Re- how did you respond when you see them? Like, what do you say? Or do you? What do you send back? You send back a picture too. You go, yo, hit. I'm gonna hit you with this, since you hit me with that. Now back, back in the day, I probably how many days back? 
Yeah. How many years ago? Oh, you yeah. was getting you was getting dick pics years ago? Damn, man. People still send them. <laughs> Did I see your mouth because you don't want to answer? You're going to answer these damn questions. Did you, 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 you used to send dick pics? It, just, it was the thing. <laughs> I thought, that I shit don't even turn me on. I thought that was the game. Huh? <laughs> so I sent a butt shot back. That's what you sent back? Mm-hmm. How you post? Like, did you, did you? I stand up and have it make sure it's, it's and you right, back right over angle. The shoulder, back over the shoulder? Put the picture. Huh? Yeah. But do you do you hold the joint like this at the camera? I mean, at the a mirror? I know. No, I just hold it like that. Quick, oh, quick. How do you give it up? Huh? I have, I oh, do have you a set, multiple. Did you sit the joint up on the dresser and anything? And I have an it, archive. Oh, yeah, we could into. do the time. I forgot about that. We could. No, we not sending one together, so we can't. Even though I don't want you. Oh, okay. But I don't even want to send it no more. So you gonna send one? To, you gonna send one to AG? Friend? Hell no! Uh, he on, oh, he even a quarter flight back. I promise you. <laughs> Damn! Suck that shit, Cookie. Anybody Damn! <laughs> Ain't nobody beat for AG. Nope. Damn it! Nice. <laughs> so do you put a filter on your sex pics? That's what I'm saying. I don't even know how to do that shit. You, you, you do. You the filter. You know. You be knowing because you you up to date on like technology nowadays. Do you? Yeah, put some a of those filters. Do are you cute, Snapchat it? When you when you send like the I sex? don't use Snapchat to be honest. I forgot all about that. You don't put the like the rabbit ears on while you naked, no. and then you send oh it back to home. No, no. Like crazy rabbit ears no. while you naked. I just ears. I don't get them. The dog tongue and anything with the dog ears. I don't ears. get that. I don't get them. No. Nah. They're cute. They're fun to play with. I think it's childish like, it as hell. It is what it is. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Come on, let's it's do just a Snapchat picture thing. that you know do has it. funny things. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. We're not doing that. But we're gonna dress up for Halloween though. Yeah, but I've know- decided that I'm gonna be Janet Jackson. I get so lonely, and I'm gonna get a red wig. Excuse me. I get so lonely. Mm-hmm. And who the fuck are we supposed to be? This is supposed you, to be yeah. us three. Am I Buster Rhymes and anything? Buster. No, you Michael. All right. I'm I done. guess I'm Prince. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Michael Jan- you gonna be? Yeah, you gonna be Prince with the purple one? <laughs> oh shit! I didn't think about that. That's ill. That's ill. That's that's kind of ill. I like that. Ooh. I mean, yeah. Pause for the cause. I'll be back. I don't like this. Because if the light is so bright. It's the really lighting hot. should be over here. You <laughs> said so using the one. It's too hot. It made you hot. <laughs> it's bright as hell. I said you was in the spotlight. Yeah, that joint is hot, man. You got one of my flashes, huh? Where's my dog on that thing? Um, hold up. Gotcha. Got him. Got him. You like that, huh? Technology like a mug. It's a very cool thing. I know. You can do my phone like that, though. No, it's not the phone. It's the app for the, uh, oh, for for the, the camera. Oh. Yeah. Well, I can't do that, though. All right. All right. Um. So Nick Cannon got a um, daytime talk show. And anything that's coming up. You don't like Nick Cannon? Oh, yeah. Wow. What are what what does Nick Cannon have to say to us that we want to watch Nick him during the day? But he has as a, um, well he, as watching him. Then he on the radio too? Yeah, he's on the radio. He's like the black something Ryan Seacrest. I mean, I could see it. Remember when back in the day they used to call Ray J to jump off of the hip hop industry? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> they used what to that mean? Like, what that mean? Because he like was that? on Everybody Hook, but didn't nobody like Ray J. Oh, wow. They used like to call Ray him J. the jump off. I like him, too. I like Ray J. From back I feel then. like... When he did the song with Wait a Minute with Lil' Kim? Yeah. Yeah. Wait well, a minute. Well, he's yeah, like a little rap. Like he's gonna Wait a minute. He's, he's very educational now, boy. He's making that Oh, money. no. He's doing his thing. He's no longer... Yeah, he's no killing. longer... Mm-hmm. No longer a side piece at all. Or a jump off. I mean... He was never the side piece of the jump ball. I didn't think so. Kind of. She said kind of, huh? Kind of. Kind of, man. Don't get in there. I got to find um. Nick Cannon, what's the show going to be about? We're going to hit him on yours. We're going to hit him. Who? AG. No, does that mean he's going to have my number? No, on Instagram. He ain't going to answer. He might. He might. We could talk to him on Instagram Live? Yeah. We're going to do Instagram Live with AG. Let's see what happens. See if he gonna let us see what he at and what he doing, huh? He might, he might. He he but what gonna, time does he have a Aruba. shirt on? Wouldn't he be some good? like knee deep and some? Well, he in a rubber. Very. Mm-hmm. He in a rubber. You know. Uh-huh. Why the hell he go where I always position? wanted to go? Maybe you could have went. No, hell no. No. Mm-mm. 
Because, I mean, if it's 8.43 in Aruba, he's probably, like, at the bar <gasps> that has, like, open Wait, things. Wait, oh, he in a restaurant acting the, like he paying for everything? Yeah, you like, he, I'm done. he's definitely <laughs> in a place. I don't know that if we were to call him, he's going to answer because he's, you know, I'm done. he's doing the most <laughs> sauce right now. The most sauce. The most sauce. He's doing the most sauce. And, and, and he's probably in linens. In linens. In mm-hmm. linen clothes. Mm-hmm. Linen. You, ever to, you ever been to Aruba? No. I heard it's beautiful, but I heard it's also have very you, family you have, have you very, have, like, couple You ever been to a resort where it was, like, a nude resort? You ever been to one? No. Oh. I've been to yeah. a nude beach. Well, why would I go and I'm trying to get a tummy tuck? Who the fuck want to see this on a nude resort? Why not? Resort, you think everybody in a nude resort got a nice body? First of all, of I don't need don't. everybody to see... What? Most, Most of them don't. don't. Okay, but no, 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 no. No. Hell no. No, I'm not doing that. Mm-mm. No. Shit. Hell no. You want to go to hedonism? Hell no. You want to go to hedonism, Dan? Hold my stomach up and get that food for the day? I'm good. Fupa. Whatever. Fupa. 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 Whatever it is, right? Whatever. But this, don't you think that no. listen, but don't you think that nudity is the equalizer? Nudity equalizes everything. I see myself in the shower, that's good enough. So listen, like Let me so, tell you something. Wait, wait, no, wait. no, no. Let so, me tell you something. I had I had like a lot of insecurities about my weight. I ain't gonna lie. The weight and how I feel. Uh-huh. So I was dealing with this guy, right? Mm-hmm. Nice body. Cool. He did. I ain't say all that, but I'm just saying. So you so nudity is the equalizer. No, I'm Y'all just saying. No, me. you're not getting. Let right, me let get me, to what I'm trying it. to say first. Okay. So, what made me determine that I needed to lose weight was one day, me and him was having sex. Mm-hmm. And I got on top, and my stomach hit him, and he looked at me. <laughs> what do you think he looked at you? <laughs> what did he do? What do you he mean your stomach like... hit him? How hit him? You know how you dry, you, uh-huh, yeah. and it, 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 my stomach was bigger than it, and just hit him. He was looking at me, and I looked at him. I was like, "Let me get up, cause this is not attractive or sexy." And that just turned the whole mood off. Maybe he looked at you, cause he was like, "Oh motherfucker, ain't looking at me yeah. like that." Yeah, maybe, right? Maybe yeah. he was maybe like, he "Damn, was mom, no. damn, damn, that like no. cushion, get out, no. give me all that." But juice. I understand. <laughs> so, what what are the steps that you're taking to feel better about it? Black tummy tea. No, I ain't buy that shit. I'm about to. Have I'm you tried those tummy teas? I'm going in. I'm they work? To. They ain't got nothing for men, but I heard, yo, so Puerto Rican So wait, on a you going in for what? I want it. I want to like, I'm about to six you? pack it up. Huh? So you going to get flat tummy teas? Flat tummy mm-hmm. teas for so men. Huh? Huh? Why are you just going to go work out? Because <laughs> I am going to work out. I'm taking that while I work out. So you're going to you get the things that go around, the sweatbands that the girls do around. Well, you get me tea. No, I You know what we should do? We should invent waist trainers for men. They got those. You should I'm get just one. not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, you I knew they far. had that. Yeah, you're going too far. You're trying to act like what? A, you acting like I'm running around here and anything looking like You're not. I'm just saying if you, you want to feel I, one not, day. Don't, don't try, don't try like, to you know? get me to say stuff. Don't try what? to get me to say stuff. I'm not saying that. Say yeah, what? Man. But listen. Oh, try. but you want us you want to get wilding. us to say stuff. I'm not wilding out like that. Now. Why? But listen, Why? I'm not going to get a waist trainer. Why? If you get a waist trainer, that means you gotta let me give you the spray paint nah, hairline. Nah, fam. First of all, he already <laughs> gotta use a yeast a yeast um the monastad seven on his head. She said the yeast. Damn, he said want me to grow bread on my head. Bread on the head. <laughs> but you right. know what? They got that, um, you can get that stuff to wrap around your, on your no, stomach. No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to get the flat tummy tea, man. Why I'm, don't you try listen, cool sculpting? I'm not doing that either. I'm telling cool you, the sculpting. Puerto Rican guy. Well, you know truck, what you're going to do? Truck. Go where they put the shit up your ass and get and cleanse you out of cup colon. The colonoscopy? Yeah, get that. I'm not doing that either. So listen, why you want to drink some fucking tea? Because now, listen, what if it starts giving you girl titties? The tea is just this at, is my point. The tea is a you. laxative. It's just going like to make a you poop Listen, a lot. However, the flat tummy tea, it comes Wet in a poops. pink or a purple bag. Wait, first Can of all, no, you, not, you don't promote it if you ain't, if they're not going to help us. I'm going to say it again. The flat tummy tea and anything, right? Mm-hmm. It'd be coming in a pink or a purple bag, mm-hmm. which means that it's probably for women. It might mm-hmm. have a high estrogen level of estrogen in it. Have and to, anything. That's why I won't take that one. But Puerto Rican dude on a food truck. Mm-hmm. Where's the food truck at? The food truck is up in uh up in Kearney, New Jersey, up by um Port Newark. Yeah. He told me he said, "Yo, Kearney, New Jersey, Port Newark. Is that Port Newark? No, that's that ain't no damn Port Newark. Port Newark is down Elizabeth. 
No, all the way when you come past the um the airport, go all the way back coffees. there. No, that's like that's that's there. Kearney. That's where I was at. Was okay, go ahead. Anyway, I seen him the other day, and he said, "Yo." He said, I lost like 60 pounds in like 10 weeks. That laxative. Too. I said, say word? He's like, yeah. He said, 60 pounds, 10 weeks. I said, yo. I said, oh, did he do the the, 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 the surgery I want to go get done? No. No, he, he shit his tea. brains out. That's what I said. You shit your brains out. He's like, nah, I wasn't going crazy in the bathroom. I was like, yeah. He said, I was eating everything yeah. I want. I just stopped eating sugar and bread. He said, but yo, he said, I took the tea. I'm going to show you. He pooped. Sugar and bread? Said. He said, Every morning he pooped. Bread. He said, but yo. Every morning, you know, every morning he pooped. Every one, especially, yeah. if, especially if he drank the tea before bed, because that you. tea will be you your alarm it? clock. No, I'm going to show no, you. I'm asking how you did it. You better not. You, don't you ever take that no tea? Uh, again, oh, oh my god, it was like four years ago. I was so mad because I just felt super fluffy and I didn't like it. Then my girlfriend told me about it and I tried it and you I did? went overboard with it. Huh? You said your girlfriend? Yeah, like my friend who's oh. a girl. <laughs> I used to think you was gay for a while. Though, so. Oh man, really? Mm. <laughs> I did. Oh man, really? For a little while, I did. I that's, was like, yo, that's okay. dope. Because the girl who I seen you in the pictures with, y'all was both cute. I was like, yo, that's ill. Who my roommate? I think so. My best friend that okay. I was with. Yeah. A lot of people we call each other wives, but yeah. yeah so I thought I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, that's ill. Oh my god, you're so annoying. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I felt super fluffy, and my girlfriend told me about it, and I went. Super crazy with it, and I look like a toothpick, and I hated it. So, so it really do work. No, it definitely does. But you shit your brains out. Did you order it for me? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get the tea. Yo, well, you you could take mom, but I'm not taking the flat tummy tea by women for women. But you could take the one that I'm gonna have for men. What the fuck? I'm not for men. I, but it don't say for men. I'm just saying it's the one that's not for women. So I'm just like, I don't want that. It might be universal. It might make, I might be thinking I'm growing a penis. But you don't even have to do that. You could go to Rite Aid and get something called Smooth Move. Smooth Move. Smooth Move is going to do exactly what those tummy teas are doing, but you just have to be careful. I did it wrong, which is why it was terrible for me. Puerto Rican man on truck. Right. Puerto Rican man on truck gave me the tea. He told me what to use. I'm going with Puerto Rican man on truck. Did you use it yet? No, I'm going to order. Are you listening to me? You said he gave me one. He gave me the game. I said, he put me on to it. He put you on. Jesus Christmas, man. Laxative teas. Be careful. Don't mix them up with anything in the house. All right. Did you have an Impossible Burger yet? <laughs> from the, from, from Burger, Burger King. Yes. That joint is for real. It's ridiculous. There's no yeah. way that that shit is not beef. Impossible. So fucking good. F that's that what chicken sandwich. F that chicken sandwich. I don't eat beef, so I can't it's eat not it. Beef. It's not it's beef. It's not beef, so you're burger. fine. F that chicken so sandwich war. That chicken sandwich was dead. Beef-like things. No. It's but plant it's plant-based. Is it, is, is it vegetarian burger? That's it might make it me shit. No, it was actually okay. But the only thing I'm afraid of is that I know... Well, I don't know per se. But I just feel like the reason why it tastes so much like meat, and it even smells like meat, the texture mm-hmm. is meat like juices. it. I just feel like, you know, the fragrance that they put okay, on right. to it... Uh-huh. Is meat juice is the part that is going to be harmful in the long run Mm -hmm. because, like, where are they getting those chemicals for Mm -hmm. for something who's plant based for it to smell and and chew and taste like like meat? meat. You know what I mean? So, whatever chemical that (laughs) is, is probably not the best for you. But the shit is ridiculously good, and you can't, like, you won't even know it's not meat. Impossible Whopper. But down in Atlanta, do it. down in Atlanta, they got the Impossible I, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm not eating that. Me either. I'm not doing that. I saw it. I saw nope. it. I, mm-hmm. I saw it in the news. Nope. I'm a, when I go to Atlanta, I'm going to go to Slutty Vegan. Let me try that. Slutty Ooh, Vegan. Oh, Slutty Vegan. Tell us about that. Mm. Who on it? Is it some celebrity? A woman. woman? Tell me it's a woman. She better be a woman. It's a woman. I think a woman and a man. I love Who it. Who do you think named it? The man? No. She did. She did? I love that okay. name. Yo, man, um, you you know Mac. Was you was you up on Mac Miller, the um, the rapper? Yeah. Uh, uh, rest in peace to Mac Miller. And they, you know yeah. they found a second, uh, a second person in mm-hmm. charge. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. that they, bad dose. Yeah, they went and found um, uh, a prescription pad in his house. In uh, the guy's house. In the guy's mm-hmm. house. So he was writing. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, getting a lot of Fake, uh, uh, drugs and stuff like that mm-hmm, from doctors mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. mixing it with the uh, fentanyl. Um, what is it? Fentanyl. Yo, people um, are. I'm not in a frame at all. My thing is this. Um, yo, that's crazy. It's messed up and everything, you know. And yeah, people get locked up for selling drugs or whatever like that. But, um, how do you get the camera? 
Hold on. And people get locked up for uh, for selling drugs and all of that. Hold on, let me let me adjust this. Why don't you move this no, just good, slightly yeah. over there? Yeah, I'm just keeping it. Anyway, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> people people get locked up for selling drugs and all of that, but it's like. Her name you, is Pinky Cole. Who was that? That's the girl who started the Slutty Vegan? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me she see said it. the Slutty Vegan was born in my two-bedroom apartment in July 2018. Aw. She cute. What you think she was doing? Playing with, like, vegetables in the bedroom? With uh, vegetables? She said, that, she said in the bedroom, right? In her bedroom? No, in her two-bedroom apartment is what it said. Oh, I thought she said she was in yeah. her bedroom with the vegetables. Mm-hmm. And she got That's not vegan. what it said. Only he here That's with the fucking money here. Mm-hmm. Nope. Slutty it's vegan. Two so shout apartment. out to Pinky. When I come to ATR, yeah. I'm coming to Slutty Vegan. I don't even know her. She didn't want to be bothered. That's she all right. Like, we want some of that Slutty right. Vegan That's mac right. and cheese. Right. Girl. Hey. Come get a dish and go. That's all she wants. She That's ain't okay. really trying to be your no, friend. No, she probably set up something. You always saying don't nobody want to be our friend. You don't know what nobody want to do. Chicks don't even like each other. Y'all so hate each other. what? We don't even trying, like you. Y'all be faking. Yo, women always like dudes. Y'all kill each other for a dude. But yo, y'all be trying to fake like y'all sister girl. Sister, That's the problem. Anything, That's the but problem. We know all need to be a to guy involved. Stop. And Stop communicate lying and get to together. Yourself. Stop lying to no, yourself. No, that's the problem. That's Y'all be lying well, I to mean, yourself. What women, what women who are around you that no, not like around that. me. No, not around me. I'm just I'll be watching you. Y'all fake as hell. Y'all always trying to act like y'all friends and y'all cousins and sister girls and all that. But then y'all don't like each other. I, no, mm-hmm. y'all don't. The y'all. ones that I actually call that are. Oh, that I don't have frenemies. I don't do that. Now you want to get cool with the word. You got no. Cool that's ass. what it is. Like a girl that you have ass. around, or a friend that you have around that you don't really fuck with, but she's around all the time. Why? That's stupid energy, wasting time. Mm. I don't. I don't mm. do that. Mm. Get. I right, sis. I see you out there doing your thing. Not sis. even. I fake as hell. I fake it. Anyway, you know what I mean. Watch they, too much TV. No, nah, don't be on TV. It'd be at the place that you always are, the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I be seeing y'all fake all the time. Y'all fake as hell on the internet. Y'all always acting like y'all like somebody's stuff and everything. I'm saying, yo, but I'm be like, this bitch. And do y'all hit this bitch? What is it? What? This bitch. <laughs> this, hey, that's the hand. This bitch. What y'all be grabbing this. anyway? What are y'all grabbing? <laughs> this bitch. It ain't like that. What do y'all it's uh, that bad energy. This bitch. Not, throw you, that where, shit. Where you oh, going you with throwing, all these oh, you throwing something. I where thought you grabbing these, something. Let me get are that bad energy and I'm out here and I'm going to throw it this way for oh. you. Let me get that and I'm going to throw it over there. I thought you was there. grabbing something like, yeah, let me grab this and grab a weave. I'm going to grab a face. Mm-hmm. I'm going to grab Why her. she got to have a weave? Well, why she your man has got to be like that, though? Why just can't be... I don't know. Grab and go. All right. That's what grab and go. Grab and go. All right. You know, like... But like I was saying, uh, Doctor, oh. I mean about the um the Mac Miller thing. You know what I'm saying? Just touch on that before we move on because I got some other stuff. Um, what bugs me out and anything about the Mac Miller, Mac Miller thing is that he gave a lot of his stuff to his family. Yeah, and his friends. What bugs me about the Mac Miller thing is that um he gave everything to his uh, friends and family. Mm-hmm. I got notes um, right here. But the the thing about Mac Miller thing is this, like they were making an issue about about the the, the, the drug dealer. Um, going to jail. But he was because stupid for getting on on and in, in, internet saying dumb shit for murder or whatever like that. Um, going to jail for you know being you know a part associated, taking a, with, associated his with his his death or whatever like that. But it's like the people who was around him, like Selena Gomez, right? That's who he used to go. With? Selena Gomez. No, who it was it? Um, Adrian a, Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. I'm sorry, they all the same person. Um, Ariana Grande. Damn, yeah, they all. Oh, they all. They all the same. Them. Um, they sound the same, look the same, all that. They don't sound but, the same. All right, they well, look the same though. My fault. Okay. I um, anyway, I don't care about you not wanting to talk to people and about talking about people in Hollywood. I'm talking about. I'm saying next, continue so, what you were saying. The point, so I'll let you basing your voice. What that's supposed all, to mean? All that being scared of Hollywood. And I'm ducking asking you to go ahead and finish. We can continue talking so about this. My, I'm ready for what it. What I'm saying is this. I'm what? like, I'm like, how come these people who was around him? Wasn't like why they not being held responsible for anything, you know? What I'm saying like uh for his death or anything like that, or being re- held responsible for his drug usage, so he would have never got to that point and anything. To, uh, uh-huh. or, you know, 
That's an assumption. Wait. What? You are you assuming, wait. assuming uh-huh. what? because he wasn't saved by the people around him that the people around him weren't doing what you're assuming that they're not doing. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you. So do you, have you trying? been around the attic? Were they trying? Were they trying? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. So you many, know. Many of them. Many, many of them. So now let's so talk how about much, how, mu- how much of your conversation with that addict Help that addict not to be an addict anymore. No, can I ask a question first? None. I tried to get him to do more drugs. Okay, you tried Damn. to get him to do more drugs. Yes, that was you my want... job. Let you... me ask you a question. Okay. That was my job. That was my only job in life. To supply the drugs. To supply, to supply drug drugs. Addicts. Yes, that was my so job. So then you're a bad example. Right. Let me ask but you something. But you can't assume time, that the people around saying, him weren't being the people in his you life. You just to, asked the question. You said, why wasn't the people around him trying to stop him? No, that's not my point. No, that's not what I said. What, what I said, said was, how come they don't hold the people responsible who was around him? Why they don't hold them responsible in anything as well? So let me ask you something. So because that's just like when you got locked up, him the when drugs. you did your drug, your, your, whatever you was doing, Everybody, why they didn't hold everybody around you accountable? For what? What? But what, what was they supposed to hold them? Because they, they did. They held 32 other people accountable. So tell me, what are you talking about? Same thing. They did. No, but who are you talking about? You're talking about, you can't stop nobody from doing nothing they don't want to do. Right. It's just how like, that saying say, you could take the horse so, to the well and make, the, make them drink. You can't make them drink the water. How do you know they wasn't trying to? So what are they, the people, over, you're saying like the people around him should have had him like tied down to a bed like and never, like how were they supposed to stop him from doing it? I don't know, but I'm saying if you're gonna hold if you're gonna hold one person accountable and anything for his death because they sold him bad drugs, I don't think nobody said, "Yo, you know what? Sell him something so he can die." Nobody said no. That, that nobody probably said, did not no, happen. Yeah. But the so, person who sold him the drugs should absolutely be accountable because he was deceiving him in the drugs that he sold him. But do you think that the person who sold him the drugs said, "Yo"? I'm going to mix up a batch that's going to kill Mac Miller. We're no, I don't anybody. think that that's what he did. So if that I think wasn't his their intentions, they should not. Stupid. So if that's not their intentions and anything, then why would you hold but them being a drug for the dealer, death? what? But being a drug dealer, knowing that you're meddling with the drugs, you are aware that that can actually go bad. You're not intending for it to go bad, but you know as a drug dealer dealing with the drugs that you're selling, you know if you cocktail that shit, batch. you are gonna know there's gonna be some possibility that there is going to be a bad batch that might fuck somebody up or kill them. Did you know that a as a batch? drug dealer. And if you are a good drug dealer, you know that shit. So, so of course so, he's so, gotta be so held now, accountable so hold because hold on, hold on, hold on. he was pre- so that now, was premeditated. So, so, so na- Whoa. That is not. Yes. That was no. It's not. That How is it not? not? That is not. He didn't premeditate to kill him, but he premeditated to give him some shit that wasn't what he thought he was buying. No, that's not true either. Oh come on. That's not true either. That's right. not true. People always ask. People always ask for what they want. They just not can't handle what they take. People always ask for what they want. I don't think nobody. I don't think there's no drug dealer saying like, "Yo, I got to put out a best gonna kill some people." Nobody's saying that. Because they know that's that's life. That's, that's your because no because you don't have that you if you put out a batch that's gonna kill people or whatever like that you want a batch in anything that's like yo that's gonna be strong or whatever like that's make people come back but where does your money your supply your cash supply come from now if you put out a batch that's killing people you got some good addicts that's gonna keep coming to you if you just put out a good batch why would you put out something that's gonna kill somebody that's not just intentional they can no that's not just because he can I know this for a fact I know this I sold drugs for years. Yeah, but you are a different drug dealer than this guy is. Maybe but I he knew didn't people. Have, All right. Well, maybe well, the experience is different. Okay. Maybe he was around some real shicey motherfuckers who was doing that shit, and that's how he learned how to play the game, and that's how he was delivering to his people. It's all about example. Who you're around is how you learn how to do shit. Maybe he learned how to do the shit wrong and was just like, fuck it, I'm going to just keep doing it like that. So he got well, he got more bodies than just Mac Miller. Maybe. Mac Miller is probably not the only. He's probably not the only person who died from a batch that he done sold them. It's just that he's so famous. It's mad famous. people being uh, that's all I, being I, all I need, over well, the place. I, I need to know about other people and anything who get got a total of that batch. If he got well, other people, yeah, how are you supposed to know they dead now? But hell, what you mean? How that's what how, the same way I found out about Mac Miller. The news. Yeah, but every like he maybe. He's a celebrity, so his name is going to be everywhere, and whatever that, his boy, name was, is associated was, with will be like the 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 regular Joe Schmo down the street who's ODing, who nobody knows because everybody is all you know. Let's see how many followers or whatever, whatever. Like they're not going to pay attention to that unless no. the person in their neighborhood knows 
we, you know. Did we pay attention to did we pay attention to Joe Schmo and anything who got killed a couple of days after he was on the stand testifying in the um That's Amber terrible. Geiger um, That's um, terrible. We paid we paid attention That's to that. That's terrible. So Joe, Joe Schmo, and he's not Joe Schmo, really, I'm just saying. Yeah, but he's but not he Joe Schmo anymore not, because he's plastered all over the internet. My point exactly, not to jump from case to case in this situation, but it's like in Mac Miller's situation, you know what I'm saying? if somebody got killed by the same batch, all of a sudden they attached the Mac Miller thing. So why nobody else was attached to that? Why nobody else had a batch, had some of that batch of drugs that killed Mac Miller? Maybe we don't did, know that. We don't know. We but don't that's know my that. point. How come we ain't know? Because Mac Miller was a celebrity. That's why it was They're all out. They're probably keeping like those point. things concealed. What is your point? Y'all missing my point. You said he had a bad batch. If he had a bad batch, he told somebody else. Why didn't we find out how about they, it? How come they didn't connect all of that? Maybe they ain't trying to. To all the ODs in the area around the same time that no, Mac Miller died? No, of that same batch. How come they ain't say like, yo, who else? How did... are they supposed to keep count of that? If they caught the dude who sold it, then they can find out who else he sold it to. Maybe they did. They just not. But how does like so Santa he's just gonna give up it. names? Ain't that snitching? You think he ain't gonna snitch? You think he like the drug dealer? He... Oh, hold on, time, time, time. If he's the type of drug dealer that you say he did, he's just like putting out something to kill people or whatever like that. Then that means he's I a new age. It was intentional though. Damn it, I'm done with this. You just, God damn it, we just got said. Yo, I what? Swear to God, I swear to God, you said it was intentional. And now you just said it wasn't intentional. No, I explained to you that him mixing the shits, uh -huh. he didn't intentionally try to kill him, but he knew that there could be a possibility that something might go wrong and somebody could die, is what I said. And Mac Miller's the only one he gave it to. I didn't say that. I don't know if he if the, if Mac Miller was the only one, but well, all I'm saying is, if he's not, how are we supposed to keep count? He's just gonna give up names. That's my question. If he's about to go to jail for life, you think he'll give out names? Probably singing right, all the well, way. He's, he's about to go to jail for life. Is he? Yes. For so he's of probably gonna give up names. You think right he gonna give, now you, you have he, your answer. That, that was that's what I was trying to ask you. So do you think that the <laughs> I'm done with that shit. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this shit. Mac Miller, um, the Mac second, Miller, second, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. And ha ha, drug person. dealer. Now you get in life. Rest mm -hmm. in peace, Mac. Second guy got arrested. Mac Miller's drug dealer. Man, this did that. I'm Mac Miller. Um, <laughs> wow. Stop looking at my notes. Man. I want you to. your own goddamn notes. I'm good. I'm ready for you. Yo, man. You use a fire stick. You got a fire stick. Yes, I do. I have two. You have a fire stick? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. You have one? Yeah, I got a fire stick. I never use it. Fire stick I don't even know how to use it. You can get porn on a fire stick. You Except the person who ain't got one. You got exactly. a fire stick or not? You I heard stick? you can. Well, you know it, you heard. She got it. Was you, I've, did the guy, I've did seen the research, a fire stick. Did the research where testimony? Oh, she went to a man's house and he No, I and he didn't. Porn. I was at my friend's house. Got... And her friend was there. He, he was our friend was her. there, and he brought it. Mm -hmm. No, it was a bunch of us hanging out. And why would y'all all be watching porn? I'm saying we weren't watching porn together, but he was like, "Hey, yo, you could have porn on this shit," and sh showed us the titles. We didn't watch anything sitting mm -hmm. in a room together mm -hmm. watching porn. Yo, research. Let's get back to that research. Hmm. 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 Whatever. Yo, so um, so how was the chicken? What chicken? Chicken at shack. shack. At God chicken damn shack. It. I eat a fucking chicken shack. I'm Damn. Yeah. You need to bang it. Turn a little more that way. Move the fault the camera. If I get. Oh, oh shit! That... There we go. Yeah, baby. We living. Live. <laughs> hey, this. Hey. So you said you ain't smashing though, right? No, I did not. All right. If you smash him, and <laughs> you just you want her to say yes. If you smash him and he ain't had no money, right? Right? Would know. you be mad at yourself and you find out that he was like broke? He was like stupid broke. Would you be pissed off at yourself? No, because the dick probably was worth getting. Broke niggas could smash, right? They'd be tearing shit up. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Keep it a buck. Yeah. Keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. Yeah. Yo, yo, you, ever you been know broke? why? You, you they know, know they broke. They know they can't offer you nothing, so they know they can offer you some good dick. See? Huh? Same thing. Yeah. I mean, I've never dealt with like a a broke guy. Mm -hmm. Like they always. I'm not saying that they're they. Chicken shack. If a nigga pulls in front of chicken shack with a bottle of Henny in the car, <laughs> oh, he's about to break your back. He's probably. He's about to kill. Broke. Yo. Hey yo. I'll do a shot for that. Hold up. I'll do a shot for that. 
Cookie, stop. What? I want to. Oh, right or wrong? Oh, man. If he pulled up, pulled up in front of the chicken shack with that henny in the car, oh, yo, he about to lay pipe. He either he wants you to jerk him or suck him, whichever one you want. Hey. And if you came up in his apartment, oh, he's about to pipe. Yo, he's a plumber. <laughs> he's the plumber. <laughs> no, I'm just keeping it a buck. <laughs> so you ever been you ever been broke and was messing with a dude and you was like this, yo. This nigga, he got money. I'm about to put this thing thing on him. Huh? Mm. Keep it a buck. Women do it all the time. Say that this again. is all y'all. You ever been you ever been like broke, met a dude who had money, who had some money and everything, and like he was like, Yo, I'm about to put this thing on this dude. Women do it all the time. Don't do all this. Don't give me the. Was I ever broke? Was you ever broke? Uh-huh. And then you met a dude who had money, and you was like, "I'm gonna put this Am thing I, on." Who had? Okay, so he okay, had who? money. So you're saying that they're actually taking care of me because I'm down in No, I'm kept. No, nah, he. You wait or a minute. He you got like money, him. and he got I money, know that and, he does, and, and I'm broke, does, and, and, and I'm going broke. to give him pussy so that he can. You gonna put him that, that good, that good, good, so that he can stick, stick around, around for a minute and and give you money and do things, whatever he do when he stick around. No, you no. Damn, I must have met some crazy women in my life then. Yeah, different breeds. I never came across a man to take care of me, though. Damn. Yeah, no. Same. Damn. I guess Not to that capacity. Met... Like, I've had people be like, all right, I'll pay your rent. Mm. And, like, you know, got an attitude about it. I, I guess all of the women I met in my rent. earlier years but and everything was... I ain't had nobody pay my rent. Damn. My cell phone bill. Damn. Yo, I'm a sucker. Yo, I'm a, I guess all of the women that I met in my early you years. You know why? I think because I never asked a man for nothing. Never. I never and wanted like, a man that had never. to throw up had in my face. Had something over me. He took me. Like, well, man. you this and you, this, nah. This moral, I'm good. This moral ass shit. Yo, man, never. yo. I swear to God, man. I'm yo. not asking you for help. Mm-mm. If you offer it to me and I know I need it, I'm not going to say no. But I'm not going to be like, hey, yo, can you? I don't or see I do need... That. Or um, it's in women dire straits. Women always did it. Never. I never I had women a man that paid to get I'll my hair done on my nose. I, I had I had women who asked me, um, um, yo, can you buy me furniture for my own living room? Wow, that's bold. Wow. I that's women said like, yo, I need a car. Um, and you did it. Yeah. And you bought them cars. Yeah. So all you gotta do is ask. Back then, yeah. Where are the ones like that? Yeah. What do you mean? Where the one, where the guys like that? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. They, right. they yeah. never come across DJs around DJs play. Around oh, that was never. back in the day when the, when the guys is doing drug dealers should be outside and they run up to cars and, and make sales. No, they ain't run up to cars and make sales. I ain't run up to cars and make sales. I, I stopped running up to cars and make sales when I was like 15, 16. Oh. Was it just, that's when you had runners to do it for you? Yeah, but I'm just saying, I I just... I you was just letting them run and you the money. I was an OG early. Wow. For no but reason. Just, for no reason. That's the sad part. For no reason. Oh. No, oh. it was for a reason. But what was his reason? Cause he could, and damn, he was good at it. Damn right. Damn right. And look at what it cost him. Damn. Right. Yeah, sitting right here with y'all. No, That's ten what it years cost years me. That's what it cost me. Sitting right here with y'all. So niggas who ain't did ten years catch up. Exactly. Yeah. I don't get it, but anyway. Well, if you <laughs> if you ain't do ten years and you ain't where I'm at right now. Oh, you, oh, in the space that you in. Oh yeah, yeah you in a good space. Catch up. Because um, you ain't stupid. That was the thing. You're not stupid. You're very intelligent. I don't even know what you did it for. You did it because you was bored. No, she told you why. He had a hobby. Because he could and he was good at it. No, because he, he knew he could do it. Yeah, she said yes. that. She said that. I've been knew that. She said that. Yeah, Yo, what are you more picky about now that you got older? What you used to What you used to just let slide when you was younger? Like that, dealing like with a nigga? Anything. anything. In general? Yeah. Ooh. People talking shit. Yeah, and face. now you just don't even care. I'm just like, yeah, why? I'm gonna need you to just no. Say that again. What, nigga? Did you? Are you here? Um, I'm here. You, you know it what takes. You, you gotta to, say stuff twice for me to process. What are you, what are you more? Don't picky? fucking act like that now. Ain't shit changed. Okay, I won't act like that now. But um, what do you? What are you more picky about now that you used to let slide? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's more. It should be the reverse question for me then. Okay, so I say how you want to say it. You, you said, say. "What was I let? What did I used to let slide, and now I'm picky about? What about what I was picky about then? Not just let slide now. That's, you letting stuff slide? Let me know what you letting slide. I ain't beefing no bullshit. I don't give a damn what you say. That should just be right all over my shoulder. Keep talking. Yeah, I ain't be whatever. But back then, it would have bothered me. Now, I don't care." So you're yeah, more like the okay if you if if I'm not if we not vibing like it's over I don't need to mm-hmm. talk to you anymore. 
you drop them like flies. Yeah. How about when a dude, when, like, same. if a dude, if a dude, like, uh, stood you up for a date, and you know what I'm saying, do you, like, did you just, like, go off on him, be like, it's your motherfucker, just talk shit, and scream on him on the phone? No, because nine times out of ten, if he stood me up, he wasn't going to answer my call anyway, because he knew he was going to hear my motherfucking mouth. Ooh. Yeah. Or he you? wouldn't answer my beep. He wouldn't answer your beep, yeah. <laughs> So now they what was the number you said? Your code. What was the code? <laughs> so you remember Beavis? You remember what was the code? Yes. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, my um high school boyfriend had one. His name was David Lee Reinman. I like that. I could change the case mind. colors. He married who? Never mind. Change the cases. You remember the beep? You remember your beeping number? Hell no, I had so I many remember, of them. I remember mine. We know you remember every number. I had my. I only had one beeping number. Ever. You never changed Ever. your number. Ever. Ever. Six three two one two three. I don't had about so many motherfucking beepers, numbers, and yeah. cases and seven, 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 seven three two too. six three two one two zero three is my beeper number. I, I don't remember when my dad. You sound like how Diddy gave out his um, giving beeper. out his uh, he bought another phone with a number to give to his fans. Everybody think that's his real number. That's not his real number. He bought. He said he bought another phone to get a number so he can be connected with his fans. So don't believe what it's his own. Did he? I didn't know this. Ah. He put up a phone number. So you want to talk about it's everything like else. Well, and you you ain't bring wrote, it up. You, you bring it up. I don't I know. I just brought it up. I don't know what you're yeah. but I'm explain, telling you. But why? What happened? Somebody found his phone? No. No. He, he wants wanted to be, to be connected, connected with his friends. So he his gave friends. everyone his number. He bought a like, phone. With the, he, and whatever. You text him or call him and he answered. And he was answering. Whatever you want to talk about. Ask questions about whatever. But somebody answered that. Like I should call. I should call. I wonder what he answered. Ryan Leslie. Oh shit, he did do that. I wonder if I call what he answered. Did he? Yeah. Try call it. Out of here, man. You want to call Diddy? Call Diddy. Let's see. Call Diddy if you want to. But um, in the meantime, yo, you know, you know who well, rapper Too Short is? Uh yeah. I you know he had his short. first kid. He just had a kid. The for his first kid. Don't do after that. After all these who? years, and real life, Too Short is fifty one years old. Too short so, just had his first kid. I'm just saying. How old is the time. girl? Too short. The woman the who had his baby. I his thought he already kid. had kids. Yeah, his first kid. Are you sure? Yeah. Let me Google this. Look it up. Too short don't have no babies. Nah, I'm, I gotta read. I gotta. And I that's fine. So what? I, hey, Maybe. if good job. Yeah, word up. You, yeah, as as long as you've been a rapper and you only got one child and you how old? Fifty one. That goes to show either the Definitely. women got abortions or you knew to protect oh yourself. Oh my god, did you did you really just did you <laughs> But this, it's a fact. This, it's a fact. <laughs> she told the truth. This, this, did know? she really just did she just do a commercial mm. for abortions? What the hell? Yeah, I'm just saying. Wow. <laughs> How far we went, Roe versus weed. Too short. Stop it. How far? How far we we've been? <laughs> wow. Yo, you know who Chelsea Handler is? Yes, I do. Did you see her special on Netflix? Yes, I did. Is it dope? It's very good. Very good. Very it's good. very good. Um, what I appreciated about it is how um, how young black people weren't afraid to tell her how she, how they really felt about what she was trying to do mm -hmm. like there was one segment where she went to um a university one of the professors was a good friend of hers and mm -hmm. he held like some kind of like social hour for these students like that were in this specific club right and so in this club is like a bunch of artists that kind of like do either a spoken word or they freestyle mm -hmm. or they sing or they play an instrument or Whatever it is, but they're celebrating each other's art. Mm -hmm. And at the, like, every single time that they meet, there was a theme. And we've got the number. You calling him or not? Yeah. Or no. 917. Remember, you, you gotta, you gotta, 917 Ready? 746 Go ahead. So. Every every time that they meet, it's a Nine, it's one, a theme. Seven. So this seven, four, six. specific theme one, four, four, four. was white privilege, mm -hmm. right? So she came to speak on white privilege, and one girl stood up and was like, "I'm honestly embarrassed to be in the room with you because this is just proving how you're exercising your white privilege mm -hmm. coming to a university with a a." a, a oh, that's 
For sure. So, no, right now, I'm probably, you know, running a marathon. Oh my God, did he really? Just tell us your call is back. We don't need all of this. I want to leave a message. Because he's running a marathon. Then he's 9.30 at night. He ain't that. Let me play too much. Oh shit! I can't even leave a message. No. Nope. God damn, Diddy. Damn it! I wanted. To, I was gonna Yo. leave one. I Yo. promise you, I was gonna leave it. That um. At Diddy, I called that number that you gave out for your fans, and you didn't answer. You telling me you running the marathon? I'm running the marathon on disturbingly random. So go to YouTube and watch all the episodes, and then I hit me back because right. my I number showed right. up. It starts with a 973, and I'll text you, DM you later, and tell you the rest. But don't ever give me a number and then don't answer, because I call for a reason. She spoke. My name is Miss Cookie the Entertainer. You see this pink hair? You see this purple? Act like you know. When you get this message, you call me back. And don't have a number where I can't leave a voice message, because I wanted to leave you a message. It could have been an emergency. I Obviously, you don't care. Emergency's not important because I ain't important, but still. Look at your face. I'm just saying. I'm feeling some Look paperwork because I got real excited. Thought I was going to really talk to you, but unfortunately, Diddy. you played Puff me Daddy. Puff Daddy. I will but give anyway, all your aliases, bruh. He going to be mad. Anyway. Sean Combs. Thanks for giving a number, but uh, yeah. We love you. Tell your boy Justin to holler. Yeah. Mm. How old is Justin? Y'all want Quincy? Yeah. Y'all like Quincy? Quincy's. I'll be sure something. That he no. Took that's, that's no. Some he likes skinned it. So? You don't like light skinned I don't care, but Quincy, he just look, he just. He don't got that swag you know, want. Justin's more my type. Because he look like Diddy? Mm -mm. No, because I like his shoulders. And his little baby hair that he brings down. And then Justin is by Mason. Oh, I thought you, what's, what's Christian. 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 Christian looks just like Diddy. Yes, he does. Mm hmm Wait okay. until he hits puberty. He's going to grow a nice little. So, Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, um. You want me to finish the Chelsea hand? Oh, yeah, yeah, so, well, yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea. Um. Well, yeah, um, shorten it up, though, <laughs> so I can get some I mean, words. I was just, but, you yo, know, it was in the, depth. No, it, was, it was good. The Chelsea journey I didn't dope. know that she was from that close in Jersey. I didn't know that she was. From I didn't know there. either. I didn't know either. Um, you thank you, dude? Chelsea, for letting us know you what you dude? went through She's with, the, with the guy in Somerville. Somerville. <laughs> I get it. Yo, I was but like, girl. girl, I said, main man. I said, you used to mess with him, Chelsea. You was that close to getting high. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Maybe I she was. I mean, she you wasn't. Know she used to mess with Fifty, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, Chelsea messed with Oh, the white chick that had the TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You got to see her special on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. She it's had no filter. Her, it's and her, actually, it's funny wait, because... Wait, she still got Chewy with her? Are you going to do that shot or no? Oh, yeah. um, she still got Chewy with her? I don't know. This is a Netflix special. A little special. midget? I don't know. No. You mean the I... little person? They she don't like to be called that. She don't hear me when I say, she don't hear me when I say, I don't know. It was a Netflix special. <laughs> I keep saying this. I don't know. It was a Netflix special. She didn't have him there. She didn't hear you. <laughs> you heard me? You hear me now? Yo, that nigga really ain't hear me. Yeah, but uh, Chewy, a little person, he wasn't there. <laughs> it was a Netflix special. But yo, the journey was dope, though. It was really good. Yeah, she said it actually she opened my eyes to... to... 50 said he used to mess with it. They had they didn't break up on bad terms. Nah, she cool. She seemed like she cool, though. But, um, it just opened my eyes to like, how know, like some people really are really oblivious to it. 50 and sucking his dick. They're like, oh my God, this big... Black and <laughs> 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 he grabbed about that like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> hey, is that is that what you was doing when you was gonna talk to the dude for this stuff? No, like? motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Y'all just accent. I didn't fucking ask you to go back to me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's Chelsea. But yo, the ill, the Ill, sorry. at least I was I, I, I you know I I, I have really Coming out my shell because you know why I wouldn't have never told that story because I would have been that's too embarrassed. Like my cars. You you are who you are. They I don't care no more. They gotta love it. I don't care no more. I don't care no more. That's all. It is what it is. I thought I was doing something trying to rob it. That fucking stomach said, "Nope, got to get the fuck up. <laughs> got the fuck up." <laughs> so now what you do you just turn around and hold it like luggage, huh? No, I ain't got that. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't that big no more. So I just get up on my ass, Meg the Stein, so I yes, get up on my tippy toes. Toe. Yeah, right Hey, wait, time up. Just to the top. Do you think, y'all think Meg Thee Stallion, they think is really a woman? Yes. Oh, my God. 
So y'all think one day you're going to find that? No. Day, that no, it's like, we it's are like not that room where they, they try to start with Sierra and none of this conversation. Yes. You my bitch, I love you. Yes, me too. All like right. they try to say, but back in the day, Sierra see, was had the, the, two, the two things, the man and the woman, private part. You if know you that's so crazy? That rumor started because some, you talking about Sierra, right? Damn, I just said that. Right, right, right. So she said th- that rumor. Some that rumor started like, cause she was on Oprah and she Meg was talking kids? about it. Meg got kids. I don't know, Meg but that Stein. never happened. She never said that on. But Oprah. Meg, the, Meg the Stein got kids. A dog, so weird. a dog who pissed on her dress. She, she, she got sure kids. Did. Oh, he was cock blocking. Let me see. Do Meg the Stein have kids? He was mad as hell. She was leaving for that damn BET award. Mm-hmm. She was like, bitch, you gonna stay right there? I almost here. thought I, you ain't never fucking you? home. Be, be honest, I almost thought that Meg the Stein was the same with the Sydney Star girl. Transgender who was on Love and Hip Hop New York. Nope. I swear I did. I'm gonna I did. do when, this instead. When when she first came out, no. I said, "Yo, I thought that that's who that was." I did. I don't know. When I looked, I thought it was the same person. <laughs> so I'm sorry. It's that pure white. That pure white. Yeah. But, but yo, the Chelsea Handler thing. Hell, <laughs> Chelsea Handler thing. Back to that. Yo, I thought it was dope because they asked the question, the the the, the main question that they should have been, well, not asked the question, but they kind of focused on the main thing. Like, what can white people do to help acknowledge it? Acknowledge that they have white people. Acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what it was. Acknowledge yes. it. Yes. Stop making it our fault yeah. that white privilege. They have to exists. help. They have to help racism. They have to help they have it to do by their acknowledging part. the white privilege yep. that they access. Mm-hmm. And then she was saying, or other people during the documentary were saying how they're not aware of it because they've always been white. So mm-hmm. they've lived in a white world their whole life. So they don't realize it's happening mm-hmm. because they just think it is what how it should be. Mm-hmm. But if you open your eyes and you take a step back and actually like see what's happening in the world or be sensitive to what's happening in the world, it's very easy to see that white privilege is a thing that happens. Know? She don't have it's any very care. hot down here right oh, now. Nice. So, it, it's getting hot. Yeah. Yo, um, what do you do you look up to celebrities? Do you look up to them? Like do you think like they do you hold them in high regards? Do you put a lot of faith in them? Not a lot of faith. I sometimes I just like some of the things they do is like I have certain ones like Oprah I like Ellen, Will Smith, oh, Jay. There's certain ones. That. I'm not going to say, you? like... Excuse me. How about you? I think I'm the same as Cookie. Like, I don't look up to anybody. I think that um, certain people do things that I admire. Mm-hmm. And I can appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Um, but to look up to them, I mean, they're regular people mm-hmm. who... Either there's one of a couple of ways how you can get to the status of an Oprah or an Ellen or somebody who you look up to. Mm-hmm. You either worked really hard for it, knew the right people, mm-hmm. had white privilege, or just was at the right place at the right time. I'm not judging how everybody got there. Everybody has their own journey. So mm-hmm. to look up to somebody who was just doing what they're passionate about mm-hmm. and they just opened doors for themselves, that that's cool. But do you but, believe certain things that they say above your everyday regular people? No. Everybody had their rights or their own opinion. So. But do you, but when they say something, do you believe it before you believe somebody that you speak to on an everyday basis? It depends on if the person on an everyday basis said it. Do I'm we, telling you they said it. Are we sharing the same view on something? I'm saying let's let's say if if I told you something, um and Ellen told you and Ellen said the same thing, but you let's say if I told you something, you say, I don't believe you and then Ellen said it. You'd be like, all right. Like Ellen, Ellen said it. Yeah, Ellen said it, so I do believe it. I don't no, know, because, I mean, no. they keep telling about all these diets that work and everything, and I still look at them like, I'm not doing that shit. I don't care what you do. Just <laughs> like that Weight Watchers that Oprah doing. I tried Weight Watchers. No. She's doing it now, but I tried it. So, so do you believe that? So do you believe that? Um... People look at it like this. They take it because they're a celebrity and they're famous. And they, you know, they got a lot of people following them. So why not? Why would they have to lie? They're a celebrity. They've been through it. So people jump on the bandwagon and go for it. I used to be like that, but mm-hmm. now it's just like whatever. So you understand? That's marketing. just like if yeah. So you understand marketing and advertising. All right. So you don't believe like half of the things that. So do you? Well, matter of fact, so do you understand that whenever you see a story that comes out and um, a celebrity has a product or something that they sell in afterwards. 
You've than touched as on all. This before. Yeah, and I'm trying. That's this is the point where I'm saying it again. <laughs> this is exactly the point where I'm saying it again because now you led yourself around this rabbit hole. You said that you don't have no faith in celebrities and you don't really look at them as being the you know what I'm saying um, the what you. I don't, you idolize them. Them. you don't idolize them. I don't idolize them. No. So when they do things. I like you certain understand. people and what they do a lot. So when they idolize. so when they have like news stories and anything and and is attached to all just of a like sudden, us, what are we doing? Yeah, but when they have a news story and is attached to some product that they're about to sell, do you understand that that news story might have been fake? You understand that now. Mm-hmm. That's the point that I was trying to make about Takashi Six Nine. Do you think that Takashi? Do you think that Takashi Six Nine and anything is? Do you think that this story is real? Takashi Six Nine thing is real. Him giving up all those people, or do you think that it was the like, reason why he's in jail? Um, I think that there's a lot of BS to this whole story. Now, the more I look at it, I think there's a lot of BS to it. Could be. Um, you need to be an investigator. Nah, I just I, I can smell bullshit, especially when it's something like close to what I've been through before. Mm. You know what I mean? Um. So what's what's fishy about the situation? Tell us what's fishy. Well, and well, well, well the, the overall yeah. picture of it, the, the overall picture is fishy because excuse me why would the feds and why would why would the feds be giving so much information to like a media outlet of a case that's supposed to be closed why do they give it to tmz why is tmz the only place the place are they are they are they are they allowed to do that no so then that means somebody's working within the feds is but they keep working with the feds and giving out information every day every day we get a report maybe it's a leak a leak every day? Every day you get in a new sure. leak? Nah. Once you get one leak, then all of a sudden they shutting everything down. You're not you're not gonna leak something every day to TMZ. Uh, every day to Channel 5. Maybe every day TMZ to... has somebody working on the inside. You're not and they're paying them off Come on, for stop. the info. Stop acting like that happened. But every day you get information? Come on. Hey, somebody if you're paying there. somebody to do it, yeah. If you got somebody on your payroll and what their job is so is to go the, collect information so and bring leave, it back so once, to them. So, once, yes, so, so wait, day you so will get once, wait, wait, wait. So once you get your first report and the feds see that some information was leaked that first day, you don't think that they're going to start saying like this, yo, somebody's leaking information in here. And Let's there'll be start, some investigating? And there's going to be some investigating. You think that the one person that they have in there is the only person that And you think the person will keep leaking it after that? After they, keep they know leaking them, or are they going to go to their other source? That is also Oh, so they got so the whole office is leaking. That's what you're saying. So what I'm saying is that TMZ probably has a clusterfuck of understand? human do, beings do that work do you there understand the that facts? are under their payroll. They don't know about each other. And if one person gets pinched, they'll go to the next person for the information. Do you understand the feds? I don't know. Oh, I can tell you about the feds. <laughs> I'm just I, looking at it as like I, the departed. Did you oh, ever see the departed? No, I the saw my, I saw my life. Leonardo I, I, I saw my life. I don't have to see a movie. I saw my life. I saw it. That man had multiple I saw my life. I saw my life. I saw my life. And they didn't life. know about no, 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 not about the movie. It's not about killed. Leonardo DiCaprio. I saw my life. I know what the feds do. The party is my shit. All right. My life was my shit. Oy. I remember this. That shit don't come out. That shit don't come out. Ain't no damn every day you get a new report of what's going on and anything or whatever like that. You know what I mean? So unless, just unless, it up. unless they let some, unless they say, "Yo, this is going to be going to let media in and anything or whatever like that." That right there is a case where you got somebody, a, a confidential informant, a high-profile case, confidential informant, and anything. You're not having no news reporters in there, or whatever like that. The news reporters was yo out of my whole situation. It wasn't no more news reporters and anything after I was arraigned. After that, there was never a news reporter in there. Never. They could be outside on the port. I mean, on the front steps of the courtroom. I mean, up the courthouse, but they can't be inside no courtroom of a federal case. Mm. BS. Only so who could be in the courtroom? Lawyers, um, any attorneys, judges, no jury. family, um, no nah, family. Nah, not during no, not during. Well, I don't know. Those people are under the payroll. Cool. One of the lawyers. Okay. So it's all real. I guess it's real now. I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying, I'm just saying I'm just, that people do whatever for a bag. It ain't gonna keep that bag ain't gonna keep you ain't gonna keep repeat, repeatedly doing something and they don't put it you know put You it might not, but no, they not, might have well, multiple Feds ain't having it. Feds show. ain't having it. Feds is not having it. They are not having you keep on giving information keep on leaking information and they, and they don't put a stop on it. They'll just be like this, all right, well yo, you know what? Lock all these doors, ain't nobody getting in here. We just have a closed case. 
And that's really what it is. It's a closed case. Nobody's supposed to be in there. There's no media. There's no cameras. There's no nothing. You know what I mean? It, yo, you got somebody. Yo, they check your phones at the door. Mm-hmm. Your phone's supposed to be checked at the door. Nobody's supposed to be in there with a cell phone or nothing. But they have mm-hmm. a recording of what's going on inside the um, courtroom. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. the lady that sit next to the judge. Yeah, it's like, yo, come on, man. If there's a court, if there's a phone in there that's recording um, audio and anything of a of a court case that's a high profile court case and anything, they can find out who it is from the number. They don't want to. There's no need to because they like yo. All of this is all leaked on purpose. This is all leaked on purpose. This I'm telling you. At the end of so all of this, so by all this being leaked, couldn't that just couldn't that interfere and jeopardize his case and and, and if it was real, yeah. If it was real. And go on his behalf? If it was real, yeah. So since it's not real, what's going to happen to him? He's going to come out and do music. Okay. Let me ask you something. Do you think they're going to let him walk the streets? Yeah, he's going to do music. Ain't nobody going to touch him. He's going to do music. He's going to come out with the album next year. Even though he snitched? That's what you both said. It ain't real. He ain't really snitched? Kids don't care. We talked about this before. Kids don't care. Mm -hmm. Kids don't care. They're just going to be like, yo, Kashi did his thing. He did his thing. No, then he does. He does. He just renamed the um the uh, rules for the streets. Yeah, there you go, right there. You hit it right on the head. He's gonna re, he's gonna rename the um the, the rules of the streets are gonna be different now. Oh. Yeah. Snitch yeah. and get out. Yeah. Snitch and get out. Oh, so snitching will now be something that you that is not it's frowned gonna, upon. Nope. Watch. Watch. Oh. Watch. You see. I mean, there's time for uh, you know evolution all the time. That's not evolution. It's not. That's not evolution. No. That is not evolution. Things are just as now it's different. I mean, I don't know what you call that, but we ain't growing into nothing with that. That's not that. That's no growth. That's no nothing. We're growing into snitches. That, that that's, that's not that's not growth. Into. That's like that's deterioration. That's one man for himself. I don't know, I man. Listen, mm. not some other rap shit. I'm not him. You know what I'm saying? Um, your man Dave East. <laughs> yeah, man, Davies. I don't know. When you said that you was doing research, I thought that you was um, you was, like you had done got a hold of Davies because you sent me the you sent me the DMs. I was like, there she told you. Did I he said, respond she, back to you? Said, he never responded. I said, back yeah, she to was me, that. But I DM you all the time, Daddy, because I love you. Well, you should have been in the threesome there with yeah, him. Yeah. All the terrible so, news. So, First, so, did what, I what, tell you what I said to him? I'll read it to you. you. Let me you tell should, you what you I said to my daddy. Read it again. To your daddy. Sat with him. Is Zaddy or Daddy? You said my Zaddy. So I was appalled at this, and I know that he makes. <laughs> this is so annoying. After I found out about this shit, about these fucking girls trying to talk shit. So why they had to be trying to talk shit? Why I couldn't? Be my true? thing is, is if you are if you are going to be a part of the shits, be a part of the shits. And that's it. Like, if that's what you're there for, do what you're there for. Like, I don't know. I don't know the conversation that was had in the room. I have no idea. I don't know if he was. I don't know if he was being disrespectful. 